Boomflation, stagflation, you've heard all the buzzwords. What exactly is it all about? We've had the jobs numbers come out. We've had the CPI data come out. We have the Fed raising interest rates. We have the Fed saying that they're going to be dovish. They're going to be hawkish. Where are things going? Well, first of all, this new term that I just keep hearing is boomflation. What exactly is it? It's when you have crazy inflation with demand going out uh, out the wazoo. So what do I think about boomflation? Well, here's the problem with boomflation. You have demand going crazy, and that's fine. It's probably true. But you also have record levels of credit cards being open, record levels of personal debt that's occurring. So sure, there is the the demand is out there. The problem is the demand is in the wrong area. It's being paid for in the wrong areas. I mean, when we have credit cards being opened at astronomical levels that have never been seen before, and demand is happening because personal debt is so high, there, yes, the demand is out there. There is no doubt. But if you can't pay off the demand, this is when you have issues. And this just keeps piling on to this big, big pile of you know what that we're looking at of every metric that is a problem out there. Now, the stagflation issue. This number just came out last week. Payrolls increased 528,000 in July versus I think they were expecting 258. Yes. Unemployment rate stayed at 3.5%. This was a number that was quite worrisome to me. Wage growth also surged higher. Average hourly earnings jumped half a percent for the month to 5.2% from the same time a year ago. Well, if I'm not mistaken... You have inflation out there of 9.1%, up 9.1%, and now it's come to 8.5%. That's fine. You're still not keeping up with inflation with wages. So we do have stagflation. Stagflation is there. That number cannot be argued. You had people like Bill Ackman out there saying that the federal, the, Jerome Powell, he said it himself. He said the federal funds rate is at neutral right now. Their, their target is at neutral. They consider this neutral. I'm sorry. It's not neutral. You can't have neutral. Bill Ackman said it perfectly. You can't have neutral of 2.75% Fed fund rate when your inflation number is sitting at 8.5, 9.1%, whatever it is. Plus, when you look at the inflation uh, data that came out today, it's sitting at eight and a half percent. But when you start coming down here, food has increased. Still, food is definitely going up. And you as the average consumer, you know that food is going up. I know that when I go to the supermarket and I get four items and it costs me $50, there's something going on there. Energy has fallen. I talked to somebody today. Their bill has gone up. Their cost has gone up. So I am not exactly sure what this data is coming from, but you're still seeing it. Because gasoline prices are down is why you saw that 8.5% number. That is why. Gas prices are really helping there. And by the way, gas prices are still high. It's not like gas prices are low. Just because you're not paying $6 a gallon and now you're paying $4 a gallon doesn't mean the gas prices are, are low. You are still being, there are still major, major issues out there. New car, new vehicles. New vehicles are, you just saw Ford today announce that they are going to increase six to $8,500 on their new Lightnings that are going to be coming out in 2023. Shelter is going up. Medical costs are going up. So everything is still going up. This is why when I look at these numbers and I say, yes, Jobs are coming back. Boomflation is the word that they keep using. We have issues. We have stagflation. We have runaway inflation. We are, the gas prices are coming down. We're still using the reserves. Tim just made a great point. We're going into hurricane season. If we need to start using those reserves, in hurricane season in the south in the southern parts of the United States, who knows what's going to happen with gas prices at that point? Oh, by the way, since I'm in the mood to complain, leisure and hospitality. If you guys have watched the morning show, if you haven't, 9 a.m. every day on YouTube, leisure and hospitality. I've been talking about this for well over a year. They added job gains this past this past month, 96,000 jobs. Okay, still 1.2 million workers shy of the pre-pandemic levels because the jobs are not there. All of those restaurants that closed, all of those hotels that closed, they ain't coming back. That is a major problem. That is also why you have an unemployment rate that comes in at three and a half percent. When you have three and a half percent, what is the unemployment rate? The unemployment rate is p uh, considering people that are unemployed or are on unemployment that are actively seeking work. If you're on unemployment and you're no longer on it because you're not actively seeking work anymore, you're not included in this number. So this number, let's say you have people over here that are looking for work. All of a sudden they stop looking for work, but you still have less people now looking for work. Of course, the number is going to be better. And that is the reason that you're starting, that you're seeing this three and a half percent unemployment. People need to start looking at the U6 number. They need to start looking at the underemployment rate. They need to start looking at those, those numbers right here where you have 1.2 million people in the leisure space that have, that have not come back to work. Those jobs are not out there to come back to work. And then the inflation bill. The inflation bill that prints money 
to protect inflation. Everything that I saw in that bill, I saw $300 billion that is being printed to go to climate change. I don't know how that affects inflation. I saw, uh, I think it was like 50 billion that went to healthcare. I have no idea how that helps inflation. And I saw some other crazy amount, whatever the total bill that they're spending on, going to all of these nonsense things that literally have nothing to do with inflation. So how any of this has to do with inflation and protecting inflation and is not creating more inflation, I don't know. Like I said, I was in the mood to complain. If you want more information on that inflation bill, go and check out Paul. He talked all about it in this video and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.